You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Poe Boy, seeing the pole on stand for Poe. Now, as you guys see by the looks of the title, man, your boy is about to go over the stretch big build today. Um, my whole point of making this build was to learn how the NBA 2K21 shooting work and see how easy it was for y'all to be shooting out here on the all greens in the yellow and green part. Chart. Now, as you guys can see, it's a 92 overall. You probably thought I wasn't really going to grind this build out, but... You know, I plan on getting this built to 99 as well as I plan on getting my two-way finisher to 99 overall as well. Now, I got some gameplay for y'all, man. But before we jump into the gameplay, I know Cats is going to ask for the animations on my stretch big. And, you know, your boy knows how to dribble. So I know the good animations to pick when you're playing on a build like this. So go ahead, you know what I'm saying, screenshot, load up your 2K, you know what I'm saying, throw on the animations. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a jump shot though. I'm gonna give you guys a jump shot on another video, so don't be in the comments, ask for the jump shot. But these are my um, animations, dribble style, uh, Kyrie, I mean, not Kyrie, Kawhi. Uh, moving crossover, normal three. Moving behind the back, normal two. Moving spin, <laughs> the best moving spin in the game, basic one. Moving hesitation, normal three. Normal on the six, size up, can't get park size up. A normal two basic size up, normal one size up escape, and then the best triple threat in the game is normal two. Then rocking that James Harden hop jumper, and then I got on rim grazes off one, crib drops off two, which is pretty much the best basic dunks that you can use. Now, um, let's jump into the gameplay. You feel me? Because I've been having mad fun. I ain't gonna lie, I've been having fun on this build. Now, as you guys can see, I'm running it up with two. Uh, some long time supporters in my Twitch stream. We got Gray here on the perimeter lock. And then we got Mr. Amazing on the play shot. Both of these guys on bills that I did videos on. Um, I don't think I did a video like solely based on the play shot, but I made a build similar to his, which is the three point play on YouTube. And then Gray is on the perimeter lockdown build that I did a video on as well, which is the, I think he's on the, um he's on the green and red pie perimeter lockdown chart. So. You feel me? That's my friend. Hey, I missed that shot, y'all. Say, don't all sin, sin can't shoot, sin. Hey, that's my first shot, man. You know what I'm saying? Just go, just go ahead and stay tuned in to the gameplay. Now, like I said, I've been on the threes because I've been playing uh, with my stretch big. I've been playing with my two way. I've been playing with my initiator here and there, but I've been trying to upgrade my stretch big. You see how I'm moving? He hating all that reaching. But I've been trying to upgrade my stretch big and my two-way to 99 overall. That way I could bring you guys some, you know what I'm saying, maxed out gameplay on these builds. I finally got all my shooting badges, so now I can really do a video on this one. Miss two shots, I bet I won't miss no more. Miss two shots, ain't gonna miss no more. Because, you know what I'm saying, let me get a great shot of like, and download no, the conversation. Raheem, who out there shooting? Because I really couldn't give my opinion on the shooting while playing on my initiator build so making this stretch big build helps me better give my first off i'll be able to give an opinion better opinion when it comes to shooting as well as i will be able to give you guys better input you know what i'm saying this year when it comes to shooting badges shooting uh, that's why i made my two-way and that's why i made my stretch so i could have input from experience i don't want to be giving you guys input on builds and i don't even play on them now i didn't make the perimeter lockdown build but like i said i've been i've been some of my gameplay includes people playing on the perimeter lockdown build like i said gray is playing on the build right now but um i am using bug jump shot so if you don't want to wait for me to drop the jump shot video you know what i'm saying y'all go check out my boy exposing boogie i am using his jump shot right now you know what i'm saying in this gameplay and i'll be using his jump shot the entire time i've been playing on my stretch big now the gameplay is looking dry it's looking it's looking sweet right now because your boy you know ain't getting too many touches but sniper game raheem is about to go crazy right now you feel me let me get a green light shot it down low in the comment section, baby. You see the size up? You see the size up? You feel me? So, pretty much what I plan to do with my stretch big is to exploit the game. Exploit the game. 
Exploit the game. That's what I plan on doing on this build. You said big whites. You said we hit the whites too. I plan on hopping on the twos at 99 overall with this build and playing with a playing with a paint beast and doing all the cheese. Everybody out here doing the L2 cheese, Dex and cheese. You know what I'm saying? Body blocking. Um, and then I'm going to be behind the screens, you know what I'm saying? Sizing up, shooting big greens. You feel me? Now, the three, the threes court, man. I think the threes court. Everybody, everybody's scared of the twos court. Right? I ain't scared of the twos court, though. Uh, we went on a... We went on... I've been on 250 game win streaks with my stretch big already. I think I showed you guys... I think I showed you guys in one video, showed you guys screenshots, I didn't give you guys the gameplay, but I already been on 250 game win streaks with my stretch big green, green light. Shout it hello in the comments once again. You feel me? Stretch big goes crazy. He goes mani, bro. Like, I did not know that it would be this fun playing on the stretch big angle. They got people saying, oh, you made the stretch, you made the two way cause your initiator can't shoot. And I went on a 78 game win streak with my initiator, man. I've been on a 250 game win streaks with my stretch big. I've been on two 50 game win streaks with my two way. I'm able to streak on any build I get on. Can you say the same? Can you say the same for yourself? Because everybody talked down on my initiator build and I still streaks up on it. Hold on, hold on, Raheem. Sniper gang Raheem. Sniper gang Raheem, is that you? <laughs> Yo, they can't stop me. You feel me? They can't stop me, man. So off all, all y'all out there, man, he can't shoot, he can't shoot. Let me see you get on an all yellow. Hold on. Let me see you get on an all yellow and shoot lights out. It's so easy to get on this build right here and do that. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Big greens. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what to do. Big greens. You feel me? Raheem, who out there shooting? Raheem, who out there shooting, man? <laughs> nah. All right, let's go over the badge setup real quick. You know what I'm saying? Talk about the shooting badges for the one time. Now, when I first started playing on my stretch big, when I first started playing on my stretch big, I came to the park with only Range Extender Hall of Fame and Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame. And I promise you, them the only two badges you need to really green up and shoot lights out. And when you start getting other other badges, it definitely does help out, helps you green up. But bro, playing on this build and shooting on this build, bro, I went on 250 game win streaks. And uh, one of the win streaks, I only had range extender and hot zone. And then the other streak, I think I only had catch and shoot, catch and shoot bronze and green machine like silver or something. I don't know. But this is the bad setup. Um, a lot of people been using volume shooter, tireless shooter, and flexible release this year. I even seen people on with steady shooter, man. That that's how difficult the shooting is for some people, some players. But me, this is the only badges I need right here. Um, I do have 26. I always preach you only need 20, 24. But I am on a pier stretch big build. And I really had nowhere else to go with my badge upgrades unless I, I, th I think I might have been able to get more playmaking. Probably should have went for nine playmaking, maybe. Because um, I got quick first step and bail out on bronze right now. But um, yeah, range extender, mandatory, hot zone hunter, mandatory. I remember last year people say you don't need hot zone hunter. Not everybody saying you need it this year. Uh, green machine, bro, is in quite Everybody questions green machine if it's good or silver, good hall of fame, good gold. Um, I advise you to just test it out for yourself. Uh, I have mine on Hall of Fame right now just because I wouldn't go anywhere else besides probably throwing on Hot Start. But we got Dead Eye Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? It's not mandatory, but, you know, if you're a spot-up shooter and you're shooting wide open shots most of the time, you don't need Dead Eye. If you know that you shoot contested shots and you shoot Dead Eye shots, then yeah, you need Dead Eye. But if you out there making sure that you shoot wide open shots and your guards is hitting you wide open and not making you shoot contested, you don't need that eye. Now I got corner specialists on silver because this badge is, for some reason, godly this year. So I got that on silver. Um, it's in question with everybody saying if if we should have it on Hall of Fame or not. Everybody says it's best on silver. I potentially may try it on Hall of Fame. 
But corner specialist is a situational badge. I mean, um, I usually say I say hash instead of corner. So if you're if you're a hash sitter instead of a corner sitter, I definitely want to have it on Hall of Fame. Definitely keep it on silver. And that's me. I'm a hash sitter, not a, a corner sitter. And then uh, clutch shooter, bro. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about clutch shooter down low in the comments. Um, I have on silver clutch shooter right now, and I will say it did win me two games last night. It was two games I should have lost, and it came down to the last shot. And I shot two whites, and Clutch Shooter popped up both times and win them games. So I will say at least on Clutch Shooter on bronze, maybe silver. Um, I think I'm going to test out Hall of Fame today. And then we got Catch and Shoot. Um, everybody has their uh, opinion about Catch and Shoot. Some people run bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame. Um, i really just been testing out Hall of Fame and uh, silver, I believe. Yeah, I've been testing out Hall of Fame and silver. Because I'll run like this, go silver, Catch and Shoot. And then maybe I'll come go silver high start and then maybe go silver tireless shooter or something like that. But tireless shooter on a stretch is situational because you're not really going to get tired like you, you would on a guard. So um, this is my current bad setup. If you guys use it, rock with it. Let me know if you do or not. Um, slippery all ball. I should probably test out that slippery all ball though. You know what I'm saying? Try out the Slippery Off Ball Hall of Fame. Y'all let me know if y'all use the Slippery Off Ball Hall of Fame and how it's working for you. Uh, difficult shots, I don't shoot a lot of fades, so I never run difficult shots. I don't shoot fades at all, honestly, you feel me? If you go through my gameplay, any year at 2K, I'm not a fade shooter. I don't I don't shoot fades at all. Um, ice in the veins for free throws. <laughs> Pro-Am and rec players. Um, steady shooter, I wouldn't even test it out. If you got on Teddy Steady Shooter, Bro, I would say take this off, bro, and and test out something else unless you're just shooting contested shots all day. If you're shooting wide open shots, take this badge off now. Uh, flexible release, I really haven't tested it out too much. It's a lot of players out there saying that it's good. Then it's a whole bunch of players saying that it's bad. So I advise you to just test this badge out for yourself. Uh, pick and popper, um, people usually aren't picking and popping with stretch bigs. Um, I don't know who's out there like, yo, what's up with the shooting glass locks, man? Do them things even exist? But pick and popper is a good badge, but situational if you and your teammate is picking and popping. But definitely is a good badge. Puff 8 Maestro, um, nobody's using that. Uh, it's not prominent enough, but I will say it is a good badge. Uh, D phase, post scores, faders, not my play style, personal preference. And then hot start is. Hot start is one of the biggest questions in the shooting badges. Um, people say don't use it. People say bronze, silver. Once again, I think people just don't like having to make that first shot. Now, uh, that is my shooting badge setup for my stretch big. Gave you guys some gameplay. Uh, 26 badge upgrades. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate me going over, you know what I'm saying? So shooting badges with my stretchy, my wild stretch. Because I do enjoy playing on this build. And I will be giving you guys some more gameplay on this build as well. Now, uh, y'all be easy, man. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe. And I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next one. I'm going one.